All right, settle in. Let's talk about robots and feeling things. Not feelings like sadness when you kick them, they don't have those not yet anyway. But feeling things with their hands, their grippers, their mechanical fingers. You know how we talked about proprioception, that neat trick where your brain always knows where your elbow is hiding? Well, imagine a robot trying to pick up a ripe strawberry without crushing it into a pink smear. Force sensors, those are like knowing the strawberry exists and maybe how much it weighs. Useful, sure, but not exactly nuanced. That's like trying to appreciate a painting by only knowing its dimensions. You need more. You need touch. Real touch. Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. This is where haptic intelligence walks in, or rather, feels its way in. It's giving robots a sense of touch that's miles beyond just push or pull. It's about letting them feel the world the way we do, or getting as close to it as silicon and metal can manage. Think of it like a blindfolded person trying to sort a pile of objects. With just a force sensor, they could tell you which one is heavy and which is light. That's useful. But with haptic intelligence, they could tell you which one is a smooth, cold stone, which is a rough, warm piece of wood, and which is a jiggly, delicate jelly donut. That's a different ball game entirely. It's the difference between knowing a door is there and knowing if it's made of solid oak or flimsy cardboard. Giving a robot hands is one thing. Giving those hands feeling, that's the trick. It starts with better sensors, of course. Not just strain gauges that scream when you push them hard, but sensors that are sensitive, widespread, like a robot's nervous system spread across its fingertips and palms. These sensors need to do more than measure pressure. They need to detect texture. Is it bumpy like a cobblestone street or smooth like polished glass? Robots learning to feel texture is a big deal. Researchers are developing sensor skins, thin, flexible materials studded with microsensors that can map the tiny ridges and valleys of a surface. Some use optics, bouncing light off surfaces within the sensor to detect deformation. Others use changes in electrical capacitance or resistance as the sensor material is pressed or stretched by a texture. It's like teaching a robot to read Braille, not with its eyes, but with its skin. Beyond texture, there's temperature. Knowing if something is hot or cold is pretty fundamental to not, say, melting your expensive robotic hand or damaging the thing you're trying to pick up. Imagine a robot working in a kitchen. It needs to know if that pot handle is safe to grab or if it just came off the stove. Simple thermistors or thermocouples can do the job, integrated into the sensor array. Combining temperature sensing with pressure allows a robot to understand more about the object it's interacting with. Is this metal cool to the touch because it's been sitting out or dangerously hot because it's live? Then there are vibrations. This is a subtle one but incredibly important for manipulation. When you pick something up, especially if it's a bit slippery, your fingertips feel tiny vibrations as it starts to slide. Your brain uses that information instantly to adjust your grip. Robots need this too. Sensors that can detect these micro-vibrations, often using accelerometers or piezoelectric materials, are being developed. These sensors can tell a robot if it's about to drop something before it actually happens. They can also reveal information about the material properties of an object. Tapping something and feeling the subtle resonance, a robot doing that could tell the difference between a solid object and a hollow one, or even identify different materials based on how they vibrate. It's like giving the robot tiny little tuning forks in its fingers. Why bother with all this complexity? Because a robot with sophisticated haptic intelligence can do things a clumsy, force-only robot can only dream of. It can perform delicate surgery, feeling the difference between tissue types. It can assemble intricate electronics, 
Knowing if a component is seated correctly by the feel of it clicking into place. It can sort fragile produce without bruising a single peach. It can interact more safely and naturally with humans, offering a handshake that feels firm but not crushing, or assisting with tasks in a way that feels intuitive and gentle. It's about moving beyond raw power and into dexterity and finesse. Researchers are making remarkable strides. Labs around the world are creating novel sensor skins that mimic the sensitivity and resilience of human skin, some even incorporating self-healing properties. There are efforts to integrate arrays of different sensor types, pressure, temperature, vibration, texture into single, compact units that can cover a robot's manipulator like a glove. The challenge isn't just building the sensors, though that's hard enough. It's also about processing the massive amount of data these sensors generate in real time and, crucially, developing the artificial intelligence algorithms that can interpret this haptic information. A human baby learns to manipulate objects by feel over months and years, correlating tactile sensations with outcomes. Robots need similar learning capabilities, often trained using machine learning on vast datasets of touch interactions. Recent news in the field highlights this progress. We see demonstrations of robots capable of identifying objects hidden from view purely by touch, distinguishing between different fabrics, or even screwing in a light bulb with just the right amount of force and feel. Companies are developing robotic hands with integrated haptic sensors that can provide feedback to human operators, allowing them to feel what the robot is touching which is invaluable for remote manipulation in dangerous environments or for telesurgery. There's even work on giving robots a sense of pain, not for suffering, but as a signal to prevent damage to themselves or objects they are handling, a kind of self-preservation informed by touch. Looking ahead, the development of haptic intelligence is key to robots becoming true partners rather than just programmable machines. Imagine robots working alongside us in dynamic, unpredictable environments, handling tasks that require not just strength or speed, but sensitivity and judgment. Robots that can care for the elderly, helping them dress or eat with a gentle touch. Robots that can explore unknown terrains, feeling their way through darkness or debris. It all comes back to touch, that complex, nuanced sense that tells us so much about the world. Giving robots this sense isn't just a technical challenge. It's about unlocking a new level of capability, allowing them to interact with our messy, physical reality with a sophistication that begins to approach our own. This making metal hands feel things, not just grasp them. And that, perhaps, is a little bit of magic all its own. Sophisticated sense of touch. That really matters. Uh, we discussed how robots are moving beyond simple pressure sensors to gain a sophisticated sense of touch. It is called haptic intelligence. What does that mean? It means they are learning to feel things like texture, temperature and tiny vibrations. And these are all very important and crucial signals that tell them if an object is delicate, hot or about to slip from their hands. This advanced touch is vital for robots to perform similar tasks requiring dexterity and finesse. And that is far beyond just lifting heavy things. Because when a robot touches a human body or human body parts and human also reciprocates, it allows the robots to handle fragile items without crushing them, perform intricate assembly or even assist in surgery with precision. Researchers are developing flexible sensor 
it's like uh, sensor skin flexible sensor skin that mimics human touch and the artificial intelligence or ai needed to in interpret all the sensory data in real time just like human beings so ultimately giving robots this enhanced sense of feel is key to making them more capable safer around us around humans and able to interact with the complex physical world in different ways that bring them closer to human like skill and intelligence it is their pathway to truly understanding the objects the manipulate not just sensing their pressure thank you for joining us uh, on this journey so let's continue this conversation in the comments below and before we close it down let me request you to sign up for our membership zone because that will help us help me a lot if you like this video please share with your friends and don't miss to hit the bell icon to get notified when i upload video because i upload video every day new video every day see you in the next video till then goodbye stay safe and take care